we have been talking about something that is not giggle worthy, right? The possibility of an attack from Iran. We look back at the attack in Damascus. That was April 1st. We are now flirting with uh, April 13th. If you're looking at the time zones ahead of us, there has been nothing so far that is a stall. What does that tell you? Well, I think it uh, indicates that the leadership in Tehran may not uh, uh, have found an easy decision. I think they have to do something in response to this, or they risk losing sway over a number of terrorist groups who are going to say, Iran's not willing to put itself at risk. Why should we put uh, ourselves in that position if they won't? Uh, and I think on the other side, there are a lot of, uh, of uh, fanatics in Tehran who are arguing for a very, very heavy response on Israel. So I think this could be a uh, provocation for Israel, really, to take it to the Iranians inside Iran. We've been in a wider war since October the 7th. The Hamas attack on Israel was not the beginning of a Palestinian-Israeli war. It was an Iranian war launched against Israel through a proxy terrorist group that Israel has been fighting since then. So this is, this is not something that couldn't have been predicted. It's Iran going against the little Satan, Israel, and they know that the great Satan, the United States, will stand by Israel's side here. The, this morning we woke up, there was uh, a stark warning by Christopher Wray and then the fact that we were moving assets in the Middle East. Your gut reaction on both of those things today? Well, I think uh, both uh, FBI Director Ray, who's, who's been doing a great job on the terrorism front and the dealing with China as well, uh, and, and the movement of military assets indicates that uh, through a variety of sources, we have very firm information that uh, Iran is getting ready for some kind of attack. Possibly we've seen their assets move or uh, we know of communications that indicate that. So uh, there's no doubt we're taking this seriously. We sent the commander of the Central Command to Israel to coordinate what Israel would do, depending on the nature of the attack, what we would do. Um, I, I don't know if it's going to come tonight. Uh, it's about three or four hours to dawn in the Middle East. You can never say for certain, but I do think the Iranians will attack at night. So we've got a few more hours until daylight breaks. Uh, it may not be Friday night our time. It may be Saturday night, but I do think it's coming soon. And when you hear the word from officials such as, as Director Ray, when you hear the words real and viable with those threats, I think the American people are kind of thinking, well, well, what could it be? You know, what, what, how could we be caught flat-footed? Where are we and where are folks in Israel the most vulnerable? Right. Well, I, I have no doubt that American troops all across the region are on a very, very heightened state of alert. The embassy in Jerusalem has advised uh, embassy employees and inferentially uh, all Americans really to, to stay close to home for the next couple of days. Uh, and I think that the, the real question is, will Iran act through one of its terrorist proxies? Will it unleash Hezbollah, for example, to rocket parts of Israel? or will Iran launch an attack directly from its own home territory? And that, that's a big question. They've got a lot more assets there, uh, but, but that's a risk that it will provoke Israel into a, a very, very uh, strong response because Israel looks at the potential of a nuclear Iran, which is getting very close, uh, as presenting Israel with the prospect of a nuclear holocaust. It only takes half a dozen nuclear weapons in a country, a small country the size of Israel. So when Israeli defense forces see planes that could carry nuclear weapons or missiles, you don't know what's, uh, what those planes are carrying or what's in the warheads of those missiles. Uh, I don't think Israel is going to tolerate it. I know the administration saying don't overreact when your country is, uh, its very existence is threatened. Uh, there's almost no such thing as an overreaction. So I think Israel is really getting ready. We'll see what the Iranians do, but whatever it is, uh, I'm confident that we and the Israelis will be prepared. All right, Ambassador, thank you so much for joining us on this Friday night. I, could, I certainly have four or five more questions to ask you, but I, I know I have to respect the time that we have with you. So thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.